Noise pollution occurs when unwanted sounds enter the environment. The potential health effects of noise pollution include increased stress level, sleep disturbance, or hearing damage. Grenada's very own Ricardo Kings Douglas is concerned with the level of noise pollution he has been faced with over the past few years. He said drivers, promoters and boat owners need to be more aware of their surroundings and how their actions affect others. So my thing is, you are leaving the harbour, you come into the harbour with your party boats, and you, you don't need to shout it because you're going out into, uh, into the sea for four hours. You party for four hours out there and, and then you come back in. So when you're in harbour waiting, very quietly, you get them onto the boat and you take them out. And when you get out there, you can blast your music, right? I went, and when you're coming back in at 12 o'clock, at least 8 o'clock, people are still awake. You don't mind. You're doing your business. You're doing your business. But when you're coming in at 12 o'clock midnight, a sleeping residential area. Okay, they won't do this in Lansapin. They won't do this in Fort Judy. They won't do this in other residential areas, right? Because I, I went into the hospital and I interviewed patients. And they were just, they, they told me point blank, and I have it. It's not to say hearsay, that this the, uh, it is just crazy. At night, they jump at 12 o'clock, you know, the, the boat, boat is coming. And uh, um, one of the guys was saying one night he, he jumped up so much. He thought it was morning. When he got up, he said, what's happening? What's happening? It's says 12 o'clock and it's the music. And the same thing he said, and it's on tape. He said it's dance world music too. So that that big bass coming, right? It's Douglas was speaking on GBN's Good Morning program with Gordon Joseph. Callers on the program also aired their concerns on noise pollution. Yes. Welcome and to the program. I'm so delighted that you are raising the issue of noise and you're bringing Mr. Ricardo to talk about it. It's a really terrible, terrible accolator disease in the land right now. And in recent times, I see that they bring this dance hall music, I call it dance hall music, into school fairs. And when I talk to principals and teachers, the rational is that the children won't come to fear if they don't have the, the loud music. We really need to become a law-abiding society. But in order to ensure that, that everybody is on board, we need to also uh, up, the law, up the law and make it more specific like the noise, noise pollution control acts. So we really need to, to really become each other's keeper. The author and actor by profession says the law needs to be enforced when it comes to noise pollution. Police, you, the, the noise passes you. Right next to you is blasting immediately. You, you should hear the siren going and you're fine. Why are you, why is the music that loud? Why are you coming in front of us and you're blasting your music in a residential area and the police, they don't say anything. And the law is there. And the law is there, you yeah. know. But I must admit something, I call the, the, the police, you know, and they, they you know, they, yes. do, they, do, they do their work. I went to the minister, I met one of the ministers of health, he said it's, it's, um, it's really the minister of environment and back and forth. So it, uh, it's up to the, the, the policy makers now that they have to enforce it. As the woman was saying who called earlier, it's right in front of the police station. Just as how the police and, and the police have been very good. For GBN News, I'm Rena Thomas reporting.